The octopus, once a magical creature of myth and legend, sailors across the globe were petrified that this kraken might rise from the deep to pull their ships to the bottom of the ocean with its writhing tentacles. But outside of folklore, the octopus is more fascinating. Three hearts, blue blood, and the ability to squirt ink. In this episode, we'll clear up the myths and explore some of the more unexpected traits of one of the most mysterious creatures in the ocean. Wild Bites – Octopuses Contrary to popular belief, the octopus has eight arms and no tentacles. These arms have suckers, muscular suction cups that they use to grip with along their length. Tentacles, on the other hand, only have suckers at their tips, like the ones on this squid. The squid is the octopus's closest cousin, but it has two tentacles and eight arms. Confused? I am. Even the name octopus is a bit inaccurate. You see, octopus is ancient Greek for eight foot, but octopuses don't technically have feet. Each arm has neurons of its own, meaning it can think independently, making the octopus the ultimate multitasker. Not only that, octopus arms have an incredible sense of touch, which allows them to taste through their suckers. What's Greek for eight clever arms that can taste stuff? Now, there is another important myth to clear up. There actually are enormous octopuses, but they're absolutely not big enough to sink a ship. This is a giant Pacific octopus, the world's biggest, and they can get very big indeed. Some can grow up to nine meters long, yet there are a host of other, less gargantuan species out there. In fact, residing beneath the waves across the world's oceans, there are almost 300 species of octopus, some small enough to swim in an egg cup. But regardless of size, they all have an almost sci-fi anatomy. Octopuses have three hearts. Why? Well, octopuses don't have haemoglobin, the red stuff in our blood that helps to transfer oxygen around our bodies. They have something called haemocyanin instead, but it's not as good at transporting oxygen as haemoglobin. So three hearts are needed to do the job. And when carrying oxygen, Hemocyanin is in fact blue. Yes, octopuses really do have blue blood. All this blood is contained within the octopus's rubbery body. It's completely shellless and boneless. Having virtually zero natural protection from predators, the octopus has evolved all sorts of special skills to stay out of harm's way. Like the ink of deception. One blast and it's as if by magic the octopus has gone. Or has it? Now another illusion, invisibility. Like a chameleon, octopuses can change colour to match their surroundings. Predators and prey might not be able to see it, but it sure can see them. Octopus eyes are far better than our own, constantly scanning and analysing their submarine environment in order to make sure they're the right colour when they need to vanish. All of this marvellous anatomy is controlled by a comparatively massive brain, which the octopus uses to mastermind new methods of elusiveness. Like keeping this coconut shell to hand as an emergency hideaway. Animals that use tools are presumed by us to be the cleverest of all, and captive octopuses can do everything from finding their way out of mazes to predicting the football results. Well, that last one might just be another myth. Though octopuses have amazing long and short-term memories, sadly they don't live more than five years. Not enough time to really put those brains to the test. Perhaps if they were only able to live a little longer, they might be able to use their super brains to solve some of humanity's great conundrums. Like, is it octopi or octopuses? Just kidding, we know the answer to that one. There's no such thing as octopi. 